What's up Tube Tube? Welcome to Low Guido's Chop Shop, second best gel blaster channel on the tubes. And I want to talk tonight a little bit about um, brushless motors and MOSFETs. So I did a video uh, not long back about this T238 brushless and um, I stress tested the motor and a gearbox and it performed quite well. But in the comments, uh, some people were asking me about using this motor in conjunction with a MOSFET. I've got a MOSFET here. It's not, it's just a standard MOSFET that you, <laughs> that's from like a org or something. It's not uh, something that most people would use aftermarket. They'd use like a Levy or a, um, a Perrin or, or T238. MOSFET, there's various different brands of MOSFETs out there. Uh, MOSFET's probably not the correct term to use. Um, it is actually an FCU, a fire control unit, and it does use MOSFETs. Now let's just, this one happened to be on my desk, so that's why I'm using it as an example. Let's have a look, see down here. Okay, so down here, we have the fire control unit, and down here, these two happy little fellows in here are the MOSFETs on this particular board. Uh, MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor uh, and that means not a lot in this context but essentially these guys are a uh, transistor. You can see there's three tabs on the bottom of him there and um, effectively, you can, they're, kind of, they're like a tap, they're like an electronic tap. Um, you've got a big potential on one end, like a, think of it as your big tank of water on one end, and then your hose to wash your car on the other end, and then you turn your tap on, and the amount that you turn your tap on dictates the amount of water that comes out your hose to wash your car on the other end. Now. Hopefully that analogy works. Um, we don't use it like that. We kind of just use it like a fully on or fully off switch. We use it like a switch, an electronic solid state uh, semiconductor switch, basically. So we switch it on or off. So you're turning your tap on, fully on or fully off, basically. That's, that's what we do with these. And why does that matter? Um, what has that got to do with the brushless? Uh, I'm glad you asked. The, for, for, for the most part of it, um, it doesn't really matter that much. But the thing is with the brushless motor, you've got in the back of this another little MOSFET unit in there. So in the back here, we've got uh, actually, on the other side of this board, um, you, there's some more MOSFETs in there. In fact, this would have at least three because it is a three-phase AC, so there'd be one MOSFET for each phase. Um, oh, that's cute. My little pieces of heat shrink that tell me <laughs> positive and negative have fallen off. Um, that's... That's interesting, and that also brings me kind of to my next point here. Um, so, in a regular brush motor, they're pretty dumb. They're, they're basically just a big coil of wire or, a, you know, a bunch of coils of wire. And so, these two terminals, whether they're positive or negative, doesn't much make a difference. It just, if you reverse it, uh, it makes the motor spin the other way. Whereas... This is an electronic uh, circuit board that has the polarity. You've got your negative and your positive, which have to be the correct way. And if they're not the correct way, uh, these electronic circuits won't work. And some of them potentially could be very unhappy if you did it. And what's that got to do here? So when you've got a little electronic circuit that's controlling the output of your voltage to your motor when the motor on the end of it is also an electronic circuit 
basically you've got an electronic circuit controlling the power to another electronic circuit. And in the case of most motors, if you do bad things to them, they don't really care too much because they're just a dumb piece of wire. They can't, they're just a big coil of wire. They can't really tell what's going on. However, if you did bad things to this circuit board, like reversing the polarity and stuff like that, you could break it. You could do bad things to it. You could burn it out. And um, that's where things get interesting. The features on uh, modern MOSFETs, not this one, but on most modern MOSFETs, um, for 90% of the time, they're just to run the motor, right? But there is a few things, like active braking is a big one. Active braking, basically, when you release your finger off the trigger, it uses the electronic circuit to stop the motor. And it can do that by potentially, uh, for short bursts, you know, reversing the, the current to the to the motor to, to make it stop. Um, and if you do that a lot to this circuit board, because you're not actually, I mean, electronic circuits with brushless motors can use active braking, but it's got to be this controller here has got to be doing the active braking. This controller can't active brake the power to this controller because it doesn't work that way. This requires a signal telling it to actively brake the motor not active braking via the voltage coming into the motor. So that's where things get a bit complicated. So I guess the answer to the question that I was asked is, can you use a MOSFET with a brushless? And yes, uh, under most circumstances you can, but you just have to be aware of any special features that you're using in that MOSFET. What that actual feature is doing to the output voltage and whether that's going to make your controller sad in the back of your brushless motor. Uh, most, most settings I think in most cases are fairly safe. Active braking is the big one that, that tends to send things into, into a bad way. Um, but for most other things, it's just a, like like fire rates and binary triggers and things like that. All those sort of settings would be fine, but just be aware that if you're sending weird signals in to the power of your circuit board on your brushless, then you could have a bad time. And I guess that's the long and short of it. Yes, you can do it, but do it with caution and be aware that this guy is in here and he communicates with the motor and is not just a dumb piece of wire that you can shove voltage into, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm making sense here. Anyway, that's all i got to say for tonight. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for supporting me. Big shout outs to my supporters. Shout outs to Adam Hoy. Um, shout out to someone else, actually shout out someone else bought me coffee. Let me just check my emails. Ah, John H. John H. bought me some coffees. Uh, and Rip. Rip bought me some more coffees as well. Cheers. Shout outs to those guys. Uh, John H. I will, uh, I am working on that, getting that, uh, that Aztec video thing going. Um, anyway, <laughs> thanks for, thanks for all your support. Uh, you can also hit me up and on the face page and buy a patch from Facebook by messaging me and asking me. That's how that works. I don't have a shop or a store or anything to sell the patches. You just got to literally deal with me. Um, again, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Peace.